lot of fans think of you, or probably think that you like sit around your house listening to songs from the Black Hole or Fallen Soldiers track list all the time and laughing to yourself because we don't have it. Do you ever do that? <laughs> no. Okay. No, no. I, there's there's CDs that have been filed and never pulled out of my collection. Really? Ever. There's too many. There's like thousands of hours of music. Just never get back to it. <laughs> it's safe, but it's like I never have a chance to check it out. I mean, there's got to be stuff I don't even know I have. Really? You know, it's like, wow, what's this song? I don't know. <laughs> um, other than I Will Poop on Their Car Seats, can you name three Weezer songs that the fans that need to hear? <laughs> they don't need to hear that song. That's a horrible song. Uh, it, that was really, that, by the way, that song was really a collaboration between our old, our old buddy Patrick Finn, uh, who was really down and depressed about this girl who had broken up with him. And we, we went over to River's little studio uh, on Urban Avenue in West LA. And I don't know, everybody was just in a bizarre mood and River's just put down this, like, I think I put down this horrible drum beat on the, on the, on the drum machine. It was so bad. It was so intentionally bad. It was like all like, uh, uh, like stop and start, and just like like it sounded like a whole bunch of drummers like drunk and like di like dying. And then uh, and then Pat started like moaning about this girl and like Rivers was putting all these horrible effects on it and just like twisting and like adding all these weird guitar parts. I think even Jason came in at some point and, like started like like making huge fart noises <laughs> with his hands. It's just, it's not even a song. It's horrible, but it's funny. Um, yeah, but then the question is... The question is... <laughs> well, you know, it's hard to say. Uh, the songs that they've got to hear. Um, yeah, there's, I'm sure there's some. Let's see. Uh, I'm sure I've written about it. I, I really like... Uh, what the hell is the demo called? Well, you got to hear Getting Up and Leaving. you got to hear that. It's a great song. Um, two versions of it and they're both great uh, and you got to hear uh, what the hell is that one called there's, there's an old demo uh, it's called uh, shit spacing out <laughs> I know the lyric. It's a, it's a lyric about, uh, uh... Oh, I've thrown it all away. Is that out? Nobody has uh, that, right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, for, Not yet. Fantastic. <laughs> so good. I've thrown it all away. It's amazing. I've loved that song ever, so, ever since 92. Anyway. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, speaking of stuff that we haven't seen or heard, uh, The Madness of Stoner left off the video capture device because it was like weird. Are we ever going to see that like holiday trip 2008 stuff? Or? Oh, well I suppose someday we'll do another DVD. Maybe I'll try to stick it on there, you know, but uh, it, it, it's pretty, it's pretty insane. Yeah, that's a disturbing piece of footage. <laughs> Some nudity. Oh, a little racy. Um, when was the last time you spoke to or saw Jason, Matt, or Mikey? Uh, Mikey, I, yeah, we saw him uh, in 2005 on that show in Maine, uh, and after that I communicated with him with email for a little while, but I've actually been out of touch for probably a year. Matt, I see almost every time I'm in LA. Uh, we're in touch pretty well. He's a good guy to hang out with. Um, so that's probably been like six months or five months since I've seen him. Jason... Uh, I last saw him, I think, probably River's Wedding, right around there, and I, I don't really recall being in touch with him since then. So, not too long, really, for all three. Did you see the rentals when they were in LA last year? Or yeah, uh, I saw him twice. They were both great shows. Uh, I saw him at the, uh, was the, Hen not the Henry Fonda? I can't remember what theater yeah, it was. They, they yeah, were. and then before that at the House of Blues in Anaheim. They were both Excellent shows. I mean, Matt didn't think so. He thought they were catastrophes, but I, I disagree. They were good. I really liked the, uh, he did uh, Friends of P and went into uh, Walk on the Wild Side, or vice versa. It was really neat. Somehow it worked. <laughs>
So how would you say that the rentals now compare to like the rentals back then? Uh, well, they're way, I mean, I don't know what he's gonna do. He's probably gonna get some more, more band members again, because I think some left, but they're way more like a, you know, fully formed band. Mm-hmm. I mean, the old one rentals, it was like, he cobbled, it, he cobbled it together real quick, didn't, they were decent and everything, but it didn't feel very epic, you know? Like it felt like they were just banging them out as best they could, and you know, that's the show. And the, the, shoot, the two shows I saw last year were like, I mean, they really had, they really felt expansive, you know? There was this nice, really nice musicianship, and it was just a good show. I don't know how to explain it. So who gets your Weezer collection like? <laughs> Will you die? <laughs> I, I don't know. I haven't decided. Really? <laughs> um, was I'm there the, ever? We'll make a museum or something. Really? <laughs> yeah. uh, was there ever a time when you thought like the band might be done for good on one yeah. of these hiatuses? Yeah. In uh, 98, 99, it seemed really, it seemed really bleak. Uh, and but I didn't, I didn't believe it in, in. Uh, all the, all the rumors after Make Believe, I didn't believe any of that stuff because I knew that there was, like, you know, stuff going on. It was like, this, a band that's broken up wouldn't be doing this stuff. It doesn't make sense. But in 98, 99, there was, like, months to go by where I didn't have a word, you know, or a word about anything. Just, like, complete, like, you know, talk to Pat, and he'd be like, I don't know what's going on, dude. <laughs> I'd be like, okay, it's, this is not good. <laughs> he doesn't know. Yeah, exactly. So, at some point, though, they'll probably, you know, come to an end or take a long hiatus before like a reunion tour or something, what are you going to do then? Uh, uh, I don't know exactly, but I feel like I have so many things I never have time to do that I guess I'll do all those things. 